Hey, what's up? It's Yanni back with another crazy, crazy deal haul. This was all from one shop that was having a 30% off sale. And this is a shop that's actually out of state from me. And I've gone there before. I've mentioned that they have a ridiculous amount of uh, dollar back issues. Uh, just, you know, not not sorted, not anything. Not, not by years, just all mixed up. And they had 30% off their uh, their back issue bins, and then the dollar books were 30 cents each. So I just went crazy. Spent about three hours there. This was the first book I picked up, Lock and Key number two. Paid three fifty for it. Now, this is the second print, and it did, did have a sticker on the bag that said second print, but the, the UPC... Let's see if I can get it in here. It's kind of hard to see. It's not focusing. But it says, the way it's indicated is that it would be a first print. So I thought maybe that they were mistaken. But apparently the UPC is incorrect. So when I open it, it does say second print. But still for three fifty, I'm not going to pass that up. Also got number three for five bucks. First print. Really nice copies. These books have some great covers on them in terms of uh, paper quality. It's the thicker stuff and it's like the matte finish. Really nice quality paper. I paid $4.40 for this. Red She-Hawk number 58, the variant. This is, there was two variants for this issue. One was a Greg Horn. I can't remember who this artist is, but these Red She-Hawk variants are really, really tough to find in the wild. You might see them online every once in a while. This one is not one of the more sought after ones, but for five bucks, can't go wrong at that price. And I picked these up, cover your eyes, uh, Zombie Tramp, number one, Mile High variant. Uh, let's see, San Diego limited edition variant. I don't must have had this at the San Diego Comic Con or something, Mile High, seven bucks. And this one is definitely one that I was surprised to find for this price. Most people probably don't know about this one. Uh, this is number 11, the Mile High variant. Paid 7 again for that. Really great homage cover. Um, this book has sold for like 50 or 60 bucks. There's just not a lot of them out there. I think Mile High still has them, but they're they're not $7. They're, they're a lot more than that. So I was really happy to find that for that price. Uh, and a... I don't know much about this one. Vampirella and the Scarlet Legion, number one. This is Dynamic Forces, as you can see, the red ink variant. J. Scott Campbell. Thief of Thieves, number two. I think I paid, what, like four fifty for that one. First print. And a Daredevil, number 115. And I can't remember why. I thought something else happened with this book recently. But this also has, um, a long time ago I showed this book. This is a nice high-grade copy. I paid like 8 bucks for it. Uh, this has an ad for Hulk 181, and it. it's one of the like five books that have it. Some Sometimes people like them for that. This was the absolute steal, steal, steal of the day. day. Punisher number 2, the 1 in 50 Opeña variant. This book is just going crazy right now. This I knew that they had it, and they had it for twenty-five bucks. So, uh, you know, I got it on sale for seventeen fifty, and I had passed it up once before because I said, "Nah, twenty-five. Eh, I don't know." I went back like this is months later, and it's still there. This book now is going for near two hundred bucks. Or last one sold for over two hundred dollars. I don't know why. Just because they're hard to find and Punisher's real hot. It's definitely a cool cover. But, you know, there's nothing key about it. It's just a, a variant. This was a good buy, too, for for $2. Preacher number 21. This is another one you should be on the lookout for. This is the first appearance of the All-Father. On the cover there, you can see him, and he's pretty disgusting. This was another great steal. This store has like a wall when you walk in of just all $10 books. You know, they're like semi-keys. And the past couple times I've gone, I've found one book each time that was pretty good deal. This was one of them, Sandman number one. 
and I saw it. It was kind of hard to see it. Uh, it was up high, and I asked them to get it down. I was expecting it was going to be kind of beat up for 10 bucks, but this thing's near mint, unless I'm missing something on it. But that's a $60 book for 10 bucks. All right, so the other, uh, so that was all of the the wall books, or the um, kind of the, the hot books or whatever, you know, the stuff that was more than a dollar, let's say. This all this stuff I got for was in the dollar bins. I got it for thirty cents. So let's start out. We with uh, I'm just gonna go through them. I'm gonna go through them real quick. Uh, Fifty two week six first appearance of what grade eight I think is their names. Uh, kind of ties in with the new Superman action comics number eight thirty five found three copies uh, this one's pretty beat up uh, these two are not like in high grade this black cover is really tough but they're probably fine condition found three of those Avengers 316 remember when this book was going crazy I just I looked it up um, when I got home thinking you know for for the price I wasn't gonna pass it up but it's going for like two to five bucks now wasn't it going for like 20 bucks at one point I don't know whatever um batman superman superman batman number eight and a number 10 so you know one thing i didn't think about with these the 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 batman rebirth turner variants just came out and this book has always number eight he's done a lot of these uh a lot he did a lot of the early superman batman covers um Number eight has always been kind of sought after because it's the first appearance of the the new Kara Zor El or I don't know if it's a different world or what. Uh, and number ten, this is the Jim Lee variant. It kind of heated up recently with Doomsday being in the new Superman Batman movie. So this has Doomsday Superman has Doomsday and the Trinity. So that's a pretty cool cover and it's not really doing a whole lot now, but. Couldn't pass that up. Oh, well, what I was saying is, I wonder if these will do anything now that that bat, the Aspen's releasing these new Turner covers. Those might pick back up. Might be something to watch if you got them in your collection. Black Panther number two. Nothing special about it except that it's a J. Scott Campbell cover. He did like the first five issues, I think, did the covers. Bloodstone number one. You know, this book was going crazy for a while. It's like a $10 book now. Butterfly. Number one, I don't know if I ever showed this when I got it. I bought it at the store when it came out, and uh, I think it's been optioned or something. I don't know, it's Phil Noto. That's why I bought it. I love Phil Noto. Great cover. I think he does the interiors. Small press, uh, and it's not a lot of sales of it recently. Convergence number two, Birth of Jonathan Kent. Eh, who knows? We'll see what happens. Detective Comics 878, great jock cover. Divergence, number one. First full appearance of Grail. Can't figure out why this book isn't doing more. Justice League number 40, they do not show her or name her, I don't believe. I don't think she's named, but she's in the shadows. This book has her in full view, and it's a standalone story. As far as I know, it wasn't reprinted. It must have been reprinted somewhere else. Because these two were reprinted. This is Batman and Superman. It's not in Justice League 40, though. I don't know. And it's not 40. I don't know. I think it's a separate story. But correct me if I'm wrong. I can't figure out why the book isn't worth more. East of West, number two, first print. And number one, third print. Pretty cool. Uh, just a variant, you know, printing variant color change. I don't know why these were in there. Green Lantern, number one. So... Most of the books are, are not organized in terms of uh, alphabet, but they did, uh, for whatever reason, now they have like a little portion of them that is in alphabetical order, and these were in the alphabetical part, and I don't, what, for whatever reason, nobody picked them up yet. Green Lantern number one, that's the first print, and also I found a Green Lantern 31. This is the one in 25 all red Batman 66 variant. And these are kind of tough to find. I don't know if there's any demand for Green Lantern, but some of them, like Wonder Woman, um, are Wonder Woman and uh, Batgirl, I think, are really 
going for some good money right now. Grimjack, 26, first color appearance of Turtles, Ninja Turtles. Uh, Harbinger number four. This is the Faith face variant. It's like a subscription variant, I think. And it goes for about 10 bucks. I also picked up a... I haven't... I think this is like the second one I have of Lobo number one. I really think he'll show up at some point in a movie. Whether it's Danny Trejo or somebody else. And these ones I'm picking up if I can find them real cheap. And this one's also a newsstand variant. So I picked that up. And I also picked up the set of one through four. I remember when I was young and these came out. Like I really wanted these. And I think they were real popular at the time. And they were going for... I don't know, 20 bucks or something. Never ended up getting them, I guess is what I'm saying. Marvel Age, number four. This is an awesome cover. I believe it's Art Adams. This copy, though, is really nice. Actually, now that I look at it, it's got a little dang up at the top. But nice white cover. Marvel Age books are just tough to find in high grade because nobody ever really cared about them. Marvel 2 and 1, 61. You know about this book by now, I hope. Coming of Her, Kismet. Uh, whatever her name is. Uh, Mighty Avengers 13. I don't think this thing is really worth anything anymore, but it's first appearance of Secret Warriors. Picked these up just because I know they're like a niche collectors like them. Milk and Cheese. Uh, number 6. Number 7. And then these things are like impossible to figure out what the heck they're trying to say as far as... So this is... The third number one. I think this, so this is issue number three, but I think this is like the fourth print or something. This one, at least they say right on the cover, sixth print of number one. And then this is issue number two, and I think this is like the third print. It's not, I mean, you got to open them up and look at the Indica to really figure out what print they are. Uh, New Avengers 35. I picked a bunch of these up, they still do pretty well. Punisher number one from Marvel Knights. Another great Tim uh, Bradstreet cover. And I picked up the Max Marvel's Greatest Comics reprint. Why not? War Journal, uh, Civil War number one. What else? So this got optioned, and I don't know if it'll do anything. doesn't really seem to be doing anything as far as sales. Rising Stars. I picked up number zero, The Wizard. And number one, like the four different covers. And there's a bunch of different variants for these. But again, this is this is a J. Michael Straczynski. I can't remember who optioned this, but I think it was for a movie. Oh, here here was another amazing find. So like I said, some of the stuff was in alphabetical order, some of it wasn't. This stuff was, and it was still there. Uh, Scarlet, which is, you know, optioned by HBO. These were all, you know, in the dollar box, in alphabetical order. I got number four, number six, number six. I picked up three number six and two number sevens. And these were all together. And then, <laughs> actually, this, those were together as well as this one. That's the one, the 50 variant. And I don't think there's been any sales of this. I don't know what it's going for. Uh, but I got, I think, $100 for one to 50 right now. So those were all together, and then this one was in the box next to it out of order, so I got the regular cover as well. I really like this cover. It's a great cover. Uh, and this artist, Melev, he's the one that does, or did the first Punisher of the new series variant. Great artist. So that was probably... Uh, Man, I had a couple of good finds. Uh, there's still a little bit more. Not a whole lot more. Got um, this one I've always kind of wanted to find cheap. Thrill Killer. Batman and Robin. That's number three and number two. It's an Elseworlds uh, uh, publication. So it's like out of the DC continuity. Um, I don't know too much about it. I haven't read it. It's a three issue series. I only got. I can only find number two and three though. Uncanny 508, the Wolverine art variant. Gotta pick this up when you see it for 30 cents. Venom, Lethal Protector, number one. Nice high-grade copy. And I had to pick up the 
a foil counterpart Spider-Man 2099 and Web of Spider-Man number 100, the spider armor, first spider armor. And let's see. Well, I found an, another one of these, uh, X-Men Worlds Apart. Here's, this is a pretty good find, although I think this book is still has a lot of potential. It doesn't seem to be, it never really, I don't think ever got to its potential. Kate Bishop as Hawkeye, first appearance, Young Avengers presents number six. And then finally picked up, um, ate a little run of these X-23s. These are, these actually have some cool covers. I really like uh, the artwork on these. And like, how can you pass up that Adventures in Babysitting homage? That one's pretty cool. There's this one, like the Star Wars homage. And this one is the last issue in the series. Cool cover. It seems to get a few more bucks than, than these other ones. So that's uh, everything I got from that amazing sale. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. Yeah, this was pretty cool. Wizard, number 31, still bagged. Uh, Mike Magnola cover. They, I, I really don't see a lot of the wizards around, even though you know there's a lot of them out there. And a lot of them have pretty good unique covers so uh that's what i got thanks for watching hope you enjoyed keep trolling those dollar boxes